Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Joe video, and today guys, we're looking at a water box deck in the standard format, updated with, well, mainly shiny legends, um, but we're going to see if water box is still a decent deck. Obviously, there's a lot of grass right now, um, but before the end of this video, I know I have not uploaded a video since Sunday. The reason for that, I've had a bit of a stressful week, guys. Uh, it's not really anything to do with YouTube or Pokemon or anything. Um, it's kind of why I want to play PDC Joe, just, you know, kind of relieve my stress. I haven't played PDC Joe in a bit. Um, but yeah, just so much stuff's going on, you know, college, I, I'm having some friend issues, and then, you know, something happened on Sunday, and I think it's going to end up hurting a TV show that I really like, and I don't want that to happen, because it's my favorite TV show, and it really sucks to see the state the show might be in very soon, but anyways, I'm back at it again with PDCGO. I'm not really drawing deck ideas, I thought I was, but I actually have a few deck ideas cooking up. I don't know if I want to, if I'm going to do a Regigigas video like I promised. Um, I tried testing out a Regigigas deck, I tried making it a budget deck too for you guys, it just was really... Just, it was awkward. The fact is, you have to get a Lolan Muck in play, and I don't know if I want to go through that. We'll, we'll see if I make a Regigigas video. Um, but anyway, so I want to look at Waterbox today. Um, and I've been kind of thinking, is Waterbox a good deck? It's okay. I, I don't want to say it's good. Obviously, one of the problems with this deck is, of course, grass types like Galissapod, Tapu Bulu, even Decidueye, which is still decently popular. And there's probably more grass types. Like... This is the problem with playing Water Box. Now, Water Box does have a few new cards you can work with, of course. Um, not Mana Fee. We got Tapu Fini. You know, I looked at Tapu Fini back when Burning Shadows came out in Water Box. It's not a bad card. You actually have a good GX deck. I don't know if you're ever going to use Ice Beam because of Guzma and Ace Rolla, but you do have Tapu Storm. Hydro Shot's good too. Snipes Garboders, which is pretty nice. Um, obviously, your main, main attacker is always going to be Lapras. It's a pretty decent card. It is weak to grass, unfortunately. It's going to get one-shotted by Bulu, my Galissapod, and by Decidueye fairly easily. So I wouldn't call this card perfect, but you know what? It does pack a punch for its, you know, tankiness. It's a pretty big tank. Um, 190 HP. It's got a lot of HP. You put a Fighting Fear Belt on, you're going to give yourself even more HP. And they got three attacks. Each of them are decent. Collects a great first attack, in my opinion. Drawing three cards is really nice. Um, you got Blizzard Burn, your main attack, it does 160 damage, the defending Pokemon, or no, the defending, this Pokemon cannot attack during your next turn. Now, there are some ways around this, and we're going to show you guys a little cool combo, you probably already know about this combo, but we're going to, I'm going to try out this combo and see if it's any good. Um, and then you have your GX Tech Ice Beam, Ice Beam's not bad, again, the problem is with cards like Guzma and Ace Rolla in the format, Ice Beam is kind of cut short. So, Tapu Storm might be the main one, but, you know, there might be turns where we have to panic Ice Beam, and maybe it does pay off. Maybe, it, you know, it's worth the risk, or maybe it forces your opponent to do something they didn't want to do to get out of the Paralysis. Um, now, another thing Water Box gained is Keldeo, and it's actually a pretty decent card. It's not a bad attacker. It's a non-EX GX card, meaning that your opponent's only taking one prize for knocking it out. So, the idea here is you're going to attack them with Keldeo, go from there. You have Resolute Blade, of course, for two Water Energies, you do 20 damage. Plus 20 more damage, reach your opponent's bench Pokemon, so it's like Zorak's Mind Jack attack. A little weaker, but it's still not bad. A non-GX GX attacker that can do a solid amount of damage, it's not a bad card at all. You know, at most, you're going to do 120 damage, 150 with a choice band, full bench. So, you know, Keldeo is actually not a bad attacker. And again, it's only giving up one prize card, which is really nice. And um, so we're going to play two of these. And it helps with the price trade. You know, Lapras is so tanky, it's hard to knock it out, and then they gotta go through Keldeo. So you can force your opponent to take seven prizes to win the game, which is why I like Keldeo. And uh, those kind of are the new ammo we got, you know, Feeny and Keldeo. Um, now you're probably like, where's Glaceon? Glaceon sucks because Tapu Lele is in the format. Now let's take a look at the other cards to support. We got, of course, two Mana Fees for Aqua Tube. Ironically, Mana Fees is actually kind of funny in the early games when you need to do a quick 60 damage because Keldeo, Feeny, and Lapras may struggle with that. And um, Mana Fee can just straight up knock out like 6 HP Pokemon. It's actually kind of funny. But we're going to be using Aqua Tube to give you free retreat, and it also helps your Lapras's Blizzard Burn. Now there's a combo we're going to do with Baby Wishy Washy where we're going to be able to. You know, free retreat into Wishy Washy, um, and then do Coward Ice, and then look at that, we bring out Lapras, and we can do Blizzard Burn every single turn without having to worry about not attacking or retreating into a new Pokemon. One Orangaroo for the Instructability. Um, I just really like having this card in this deck. I'm going three Leleys, and I usually go two in this type of a deck. The reason I'm playing three today is because there's a lot of important supporters in here. The big one, of course, is going to be that Professor Kikui, which we'll talk about in a minute. So those are our Pokemon. Now let's go into the items. Of course, one of the things that makes Waterbox so cool is you have cards like Aqua Patch to Accelerate and Max Elixir. 
also for maximum acceleration. So these two cards combo very nicely. Of course, we got two field blowers too to get rid of you know, any tools. I'm playing one nest ball. We do not play Bridget in here because sometimes we don't want to Bridget a Manaphy on our bench. Like Manaphy is an important card to grab with this type of a deck. Um, if you don't start with the Pokemon you want, because you can't Aqua Patch a Max Luther to your active. You have to charge up a bench. That active has to retreat. Manaphy, you know, so that's why we're not playing Bridget, right? One Stretcher to get back your Pokemon. I like Super Rod almost more than Stretcher, but we're going with Stretcher today. Four Ultra Balls to search for your Pokemon. Two Brooklyn Hills. Unfortunately, cards like Rough Seas and Die Ball are gone, so Brooklyn Hill will have to do. Um, Rough Seas is a pretty big loss for the Water Box deck. I'm not going to lie. Same with Die Ball. Um, but Ultra Ball, I guess, is fine if you need to get rid of Waters for Aqua Patch. So there's positives and negatives to losing both, but Rough Seas is a big loss. So we're going to play Brooklyn Hill because we don't play any... Um, Bridget, three Guzmas, of course. Guzma's a great card. We got our four ends draw support. We got our four Sycamore for draw support. Uh, I'm going to be playing one Pokemon Fan Club in here just to be able to grab our two basics. I like Fan Club way more than Bridget in here. Again, Bridget, you can't have Manaphy and two Laprasses. Now, I'm playing two Professor Kakuis, one of the most important cards in the deck, because Laprass caps at 160 choice band on Blizzard Burn. Now, it's not going to hit enough numbers to KO big Pokemon like Zoark, Galissapod, Ninetales. So, Kikui will allow us to do 210 damage with Blizzard Burn and a Choice Band. So, Kikui's a big card in this deck. We do, you know, three Choice Bands, of course, we have X30. One Belt, I'm just going to play this anyways. I mean, Keldeo can get 150 HP, which is kind of nice. Um, and then also, Lapras can get a lot of HP, make it more tankier. And I'm going with 11 Waters, and I just removed the water. But yeah, we go with 11 Water Energies today. Usually, 10 would be the amount, but if, with Aqua Patch in the format, we're running 11 for that maximum consistency. This is my water box deck for updated in the standard format. Let's go find some games with it on PCGO. See in action, and let's see if Water Toolbox is still a decent deck at all. It's fine. All right, guys, let's find some matches with our deck. And I think what I'll do, I'll end the video off with a game I got with this deck. Like, I think it was before, like, this update happened. Um, but I had, like, weird internet issues. I still won the match. I actually showed the deck off fairly nicely. I think I might just use that in this video as, like, the final match. It's not, like, a salty game. It's just, you know, I'm kind of, like crying over my internet being like awful um so i think i'll do that like i don't know i've had like i was, I was having trouble installing pcgo with this update just i don't know my computer's being weird i need i might need to send it again. i mean ugh, i might need to get a new computer like i have two computers i have two laptops i have a i have my asus which i'm which i make videos on i have a macbook um but i actually can't record on that because it's for school so you kind of see my issue. I, I, I have PDC Joe on my MacBook. I play it all the time at, in class, but uh, I, I don't have a, uh, I don't have any, like, I can't record a video on it because it's for school. So maybe like, I don't know, after I'm done school, which probably won't be for like a good like four or five, six years. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this game goes, of course. Um, we are going to draw quite a few cards. I'll put Keldeo. I saw Ninetales, but I'll put Keldeo down anyways. Um, oh no, my dog's barking once again. Yikes. Alright, well. I didn't, I mean, I think we'll put this down. It's fine. kind of regret doing that, just because it helps my opponent. But at the end of the day, it's going to help me too. What? We whiffed? Yo, how? How many energies are priced? How did I whip that? That's crazy. All right, I guess we got to end him. Um, do, 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 active or the bench? I think I just attached the active here. I mean, I have Guzma. I think I still attach the active. I might need collect. I think we'll pass. I mean, Brooklyn Hill will help my opponent, but I wanted to, you know, take advantage of that. Especially because I want to do that elixir. I don't know. That's crazy that that actually whiffed. I'm genuinely shocked. He's going to end me, which is good. I didn't like that hand. I didn't want to give up my Guzmas. I didn't want to give up the Kikui because if he is playing Ninetales GX, this is where Kikui is going to make some plays. Don't think I can knock him out with his hand. I think I'm going to have to build up Keldeo, but he's going to be smart about his bench, I bet. Which is going to be a bit of an issue. Okay, yeah, see? That thing right there. That thing, that, that thing drives me nuts. Alright, well, I think I'm going to have to do this. I'm actually going to Brooklyn Hill for a second Keldeo. And before we do 10 damage with Wishy Washy. We technically could attack with a Rangaroo too. We'd have to rely on Max Lixir to charge it up though. I think I just sent him. I'm going to keep Field Blower just for a minute. 
Alright. I do find a funny fury bolt, but I don't think I have a knockout. I'm 10 short. I don't know if I want to attack him anyways. Nah, let's attack him. I think it's fine, honestly. He he would need a DCE and let's let's see if this pays off. We'll we'll attack him. I stole my stretcher, right? Alright, I'm gonna attack him here. I'm actually gonna keep that belt for a minute. Mm, sure. I'll just hit him for you no know, hit him for 40. I'll attack him now. I mean I need to get damage on him at some point. He might just not play any other Pokemon down and then I'm not gonna be able to take out this Ninetales. Um, or he does, okay, this is fine, because if he does Ninetales here, I can actually just put a Funny Fear Belt on and do enough damage to take out Ninetales. Oh, he concedes! Keldeo, man, it put on too much pressure. Not bad. Let's see what our prize is in before it's 375 coins. Alright, did he even have any Ninetales GX? He didn't, Wow. He, I mean, the Keldeo must have scared him off, which is good. Uh, we'll get another game, of course. Obviously, that wasn't much of a match. I want to at least get maybe one good game in, and then I can end off the video with that other match. I don't know, I've been trying to get this video recorded from, like, I don't know, like, 7 o'clock. It is now 10, a 10 p.m., literally on the dot. So, I've been having some crazy, crazy issues with recording today. My opponent's going to be with a surprise face, so I'm assuming it's a fan. I'll hit him with a hello. Unfortunately, though, looks like we're playing against Galisapod, which is our worst matchup, obviously. Probably is. I mean, Bulu's pretty bad, too, I guess. Wow, okay. Well, um, looks like we're going to end up losing. Um, this hand is pretty bad. I'm actually going to hold off on Mana Fee just in case. I don't know. Maybe? I don't think it matters, but I'm going to actually hold off on it. My point with a sad face, if you saw my hand... You know, we'd be pretty even. Okay, DCE, Lele, Choice Band. Yay, the end. I need to get that end, by the way. I know I know you guys probably probably drive some people crazy that I only have four ends. And uh, one of them is from Fates Collide that I use. I don't have a fourth full art. I know, I'm so lazy. Ooh, red card, okay. I didn't really like that hand, to be honest. I mean, that's not bad, because we do have Instruct. Oh, wow. The mother of all draws. Now, this is a pretty bad matchup, so I don't even feel confident about winning this. And, oh my gosh. Literally, the two Pokemon that I wanted was Feeny and Keldeo, and they're both prized. Well, uh, that's not good. Not good at all. Once he Guzmas me, I'm, I'm done for. Hopefully, we can get some energy, maybe Aqua Patch. I mean, Nest Ball, sure, we can put Manaphy down. Can't really do much against Galissapod, man. I'm telling you, you just can't beat it. I mean, yeah, I mean, maybe you can beat it. Maybe I am lucky. My opponent still says Fad Face. Buh, sorry. Sad Face, what am I saying? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll try and at least do the Kikui combo, which is kind of the goal. I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to get rid of Fan Club and N. And I'm actually, I'm going to thin out my deck here real quick. And grab Wishy Washy, because why not? The reason I'm doing this is because next turn, if we can draw an energy, I can just knock this Wimpod out ASAP. So that way, it's not in the way. I might even Ice Beam it. I don't, like, the thing is, like, Blizzard Burn is good, but if I Ice Beam him, I can keep Blizzard Burn, because he might get a Garboder up, and then I won't be able to retreat and do Wishy Washy. Ooh, there's a Guzma. If he has... I mean, okay, I guess he can attack me with Lele. Wow, this guy's really dedicated. Okay, change of plans, I guess. Unless we can draw an energy. No, a choice band. Hmm. I could do Guzma. And... Hope Instruct gives me one card that I need. I think I'm just going to Sycamore here and hope for the best. I really don't like losing that Kikui, though. And, uh, hopefully this Max Lixer hits. I don't think it will. Oh, it did, actually. Okay. Um, sure. We build Lapras up quick enough. We can Lele for the other Kikui, maybe. 
and I guess we blizzard burn him. Now, we do have 40 HP, so this thing won't knock me out unless he finds a choice band, which is nice. So we'll take our two prizes. Hopefully, we can get something good. I don't think our other Kikui's prize. Okay, Keldeo is perfect. We need Keldeo, because Keldeo can do decent damage, only giving it one prize. And before his hand's a choice band DCE, Kappa. Oh my, oh no. He must have had that rip. And this is where Lapras gets knocked out. Unless, uh, I'm praying he whiffs. Please, please, whiff. I, I doubt he's going to whiff a grass energy, but... I mean, please, whiff. If he does that, I'm actually going to be able to pull off a knockout here. Unless he's ending me, which he's going to do, I bet. It's either Enter Sycamore or Sycamore. Yes, okay. We might actually be able to knock out this Galissa pod. If he doesn't put another Wind Pod down, we'll be in a pretty good spot. If he does knock me out, we're not going to knock him out, but we'll see. Oh, no, red card. Are you serious? Rip. Ah, rip. rip, rip. Please don't get an energy. Oh, I got to watch out for Trash Lanch, too, I guess. Okay, an Ultra Ball? Hmm. I d oh, my gosh. Three Ultra Balls. Is he grabbing a Rangaroo? Does he play it? Oh, this last card in his hand is an energy. This could be bad. I mean, he could technically trash and leech me. Okay, he doesn't have an energy, which is good. Hmm. I'm going to play this first. Alright, let's put that on Orangaroo. I, I, he's not going to get a Garbo Toxin, so I can just bring out Wishy Washy and sacrifice him. Okay, speaking of which. Alright. Rip instruct. Alright, so we're gonna take him out here. Barely, because that either paradise. Let's see what this prize is. Ultra Ball, not bad. That's good. We actually, yeah, Ultra Ball is perfect. That does let us knock out Galissapod here. But, hmm, the amount of items we're playing is kind of sketch. We've already played, he's already doing 120, so. We're going to put ourselves in some bad room. He's bringing out Garb. That mm, confirms he probably has an energy. Oh, wow. Don't tell me you do that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, at least he brought out Garb, so, I mean, if he whiffs somehow. I mean, if he does whiff a rainbow energy here, I mean, we're going to be in a good spot. Okay, not bad. I was still hoping we can knock out Glissapod here. Oh, we conceded. Waterbox beat Glissapod. All right, now, shout out GG to my opponent there. Um, I'm assuming that was a fan because of all, like, the emotes, the interactions. So, uh, shout out to you. Um, really surprised we won. Um, but you can kind of see, I guess you can beat it if you're quick enough. I did want to show off. Yeah, shout out to Wolf Song, by the way. Yeah. I didn't want to show off the Kikui combo, but we didn't get to do it. Um, maybe we can do it again. Who knows? Um, maybe in one more match, though, we are maybe going to be able to get... Nah, nah we're, we're too far behind the ladder. We're not going to be able to get a pack. Looks like our last game is against either Metagross, Silvali, or Sokaleo, which I'm fine with. Just got to wait for my opponent's game to load. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, let's go. Here we go, Hedge of Tails. No. Now, going second with this deck isn't the worst thing in the world, only because this deck can potentially set up a turn one attack. But you're asking for a lot, so you, it's kind of risky. Alright, let's see. We do get a Keldeo start. Now, I can't do Cower Dice on my first turn. You may discard all cards. Okay, so we can't do Cower Dice on our first turn. Um, I actually ended up making a bit of a mistake on that before when I was testing him, so we're not going to do, we're not going to open up with Wishy Washy. It might, you know, it's kind of tempting though, but I'm going to still open up with Keldeo. We don't have a good hand, so I think we kind of have to. I can bench Wishy Washy. I could actually maybe retreat. I don't know. We'll see. Depends what he does. Like the Keldeo immediately slows him. Okay, you can't really do Bridget unless you want to, you know, get attacked by Keldeo. I'll see what he's running. 
Okay. I guess it's Silvali. Silvali does have 210 HP, so the potential's there. Is he gonna end me? That is the question of the century, though. The Cobalion's a bit of a scary card, too. Revenge Blast is gonna be tough. Oh, he's gonna bridge it. Okay, this is fine for Keldeo, but not good for me. If I don't draw something, I could be in trouble. The only good thing is, until he gets to Silvali up, he's still only doing 30 to me. Like, I'm fine with this matchup. I think it's a decent matchup. Um, Kikui is going to be a game changer because Celesteela can get knocked out. Savali can get knocked out. I, mean, I think Savali has 210. I'm, I feel like it has 220 HP, but I'm pretty positive it's 210. Pretty positive it's 210 HP. Ooh, Tramp is interesting. Probably going to try and big wheel, which I'm fine with. I mean, Rebel is a little bit of a scary attack to see. Okay, he's attaching the active, so I, we're probably not going to get attack next turn. Another Keldeo. Rip. He's going to attach the active. I don't think we're going to attack next turn. No rip. Oh my god, we we're going to draw a Lele. Oh my goodness. I regret doing that now. Sure. I was going to not put it down, but I might as well. We'll do Bailout for 100 damage. I'm just joking. Alright, let's see... If my opponent decides to end me or not, or we draw like a Sycamore. Sycamore would be a good draw, because we can get an energy in the discard and one on our active. At the very least, we can hit him, but we actually can't knock him out. So maybe we can find a Guzma and we can like knock out Null or the Cobalion. But yeah, Guzma would be a nice draw, only because we can take maybe take a knockout, but it's not good because it's not a good draw. Oh, he's ending me, yes? Alright, so we are going to get in, which is amazing. Now, hopefully we can get a good hand off of this. Okay, that's fine. Kikui, though, oh, I don't want to I don't want to discard Kikui. Or maybe, actually, I could use just Kikui on the active and knock him out. I might as well. Yeah, sure. I do need to find a Lapras, though, so hopefully we can draw Ultra Ball or Brooklyn Hill. That'd be, or Nest Ball. Another card that I don't want to get discarded. All right, roll Kikui and knock him out here. Okay, there's a Lapras. Nice. And uh, we can Resolute Blade knock out this Red Jade um, Steel. The only unfortunate thing is Savali's coming out next turn. Judging from this hand, we aren't going to be able to pull off a knockout on Savali. Mm, will he be playing Ace Rolla? I'm pretty sure Savali Box does play Ace Rolla. So I don't want to I don't wanna Ice Beam him. Um, I'm, I probably will be able to build a Lapras next turn, but I'm deciding on whether I want to do Ice Beam or Swing with Blizzard. I think it's just better to hit him with Blizzard Burn. Maybe you would just hit him with Keldeo and just keep saying, well, you need to do something. I'm assuming we're going to get knocked out by Silvali here. No, oh, big wheel. Hmm. Another N. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully, off this N, we can potentially hit a... An N? Alright, there we go. Because I'm assuming he's going to do big wheel, which is good. Because we dodge Rebel, which is really good. Because Lapras is so tanky. This is a good thing. Now let's see if he does big wheel or not. I mean, he could hit Max Lix or Silvali and do that. That would actually be kind of interesting, but... We'll see. Choice ban, going on to the type null. I, okay. Oh, Righteous Edge. Never mind. Alright. Alright, we'll put a Rangaroo down. We'll... I mean, how much is Berserk doing? 60, we can belt save ourselves, or I can save for Lapras. I think I'm going to save it. Nah, might as well just attach to Keldeo. Yeah. I mean, we're doing enough damage to do decent damage. Now, do I want to save the end? I think I kind of, I'm, I'm, I kind of want to save the end. I'm also tempted to dump this hand. I think I'm actually going to hold this hand. Like, how many ends have we played? Nah, let's just end him. Screw it. I was going to save it in case he did a big wheel next turn, but I might as well just end him here and try and get more cards I need. Okay, so we can attack him next turn, or we can Guzma maybe. So we'll Resolute Blade and, and uh, swing him for 130. Next turn, if he doesn't take out Keldeo, I think I might actually knock out this, either Cobalion or Type No. I'm assuming I might want to take Cobalion out, because we keep taking prizes. Cobalion is going to be ready to go. 
All right, field blower. DCE, Keldeo goes down and rip that. But then we can take him out with Buzzard Burn, maybe. I might actually save Ice Beam. Maybe we can even do Tapu Storm. Who knows? I could even Feeny this thing. That's an option. Okay, another field blower is good. I'm assuming he only plays two. So that means our choice bands are safe. But unfortunately, next turn, if he does do a Silvali, which looks like he's going for it, we might not be able to do the Kikui combo. I don't think we can dump our hand low enough to even instruct just to pray we can either get a Lele or like an Ultra Ball or something. But if we... Well, we need Choice Band, yeah. Unless we... Whatever we draw really to dedicate... To dedicate... Dictates if we're not going to know. But Drampa, you know, it is pretty weak, which is nice. Alright, there's Silvali. Could see a Guzma. Maybe Guzma knockout Mana Feely. Oh, a big wheel! Oh, he threw it! Um, okay, that's good. Now, it looks like Manaphy's a goner next turn. I think I'm going to take out Cobalion, honestly. I could end him here, knock him out, go to three cards, or I could take out that Cobalion, which is probably what he's going to build up with Silvali. Nah. Let's end him. I think end is a better play here, and the reason is because that big hand is, I don't think it's like, I mean, he's kind of already de got a decent board, but like, I think that's fine just to get rid of that hand he's got. I'm actually going to do... Do I coward it? Yeah, I'm going to coward ice. Uh, this way, I... I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm actually just going to... Yeah, screw it. Let's just get Wishy Wash off the field. And uh, we'll knock him out. And we can take our two prizes. Not bad. Alright. Don't know why I took Wishy Wash off the board. But, so be I mean, I don't need it anyways. Probably should have kept it. But who knows? I do need to get another prize. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, well... That's fine. Now, I'm glad he uses Jex Tech. Now our Lapras is safe from being one-shotted. Um, we are probably going to get end here. Why did I bring out the Wishy Washy? I was thinking he was going to rebel me. Just think, oh man, he's going to end me and then when I draw a Wishy Washy, I'm going to regret it. We'll see if he ends me or not. I think he's used a few ends. We have not. Okay, good. I'm actually, if we can hit a patch or an energy, I'm actually going to hit him with a Resolute Blade here. Just, you know, keep the nine in prizes. Oh, he's not building up... Okay, I'm really surprised he's not building up Cobalion, because that's the scariest thing on his board right now. Considering he's wasted his Jex deck, right? Alright, well, Brookwood Hill for Lapras number 2. And I'm going to hit him with Keldeo here, unless this doesn't get energy. Okay, yeah, I guess we got to attack him with Lapras. Two waters in the discard is fine, because we haven't played an Aqua Patch yet. Ooh, if we hit double patch, I would have went Keldeo rip. Alright, well, it's fine. Yeah, I'll hit him. He might retreat. And then we can maybe knock him out with Lele Guzma. Though, this thing is kind of what I do really want to knock out more. So either next turn I'm going to go Lele or I'm going to... I really want to knock that out, but... I mean... My end game might actually have to be knock out the Solvali and Keldeo isn't confirmed to knock it. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to put the patch on the Keldeo. I'm thinking, yeah. I think I'm regretting that now. I probably should have put on Lapras. He's still not building up the Cobalion, though. He's probably gonna... I mean, yeah, he's got a metal. There's a Sycamore. Choice Band's pretty good. Yeah, I think I should have done it to Lapras, because he's probably going to knock me out with Cobalion next turn. I mean, or another Silvali, but you get my point, right? Really trying to dodge this Cobalion here. Nice thing is, though, we still have a few Lele's left. We could even stretch her, so this is going to be a good Sycamore. Now, do I want to put Feeny down? I don't think I do. It sucks we got to lose this stretcher, though, and we're not going to be able to use it on those two Tapus, but... Fun, I guess. Oh, he's conceding. Okay, 
Water box, there you go. Good metal matchup. Now, I'm actually going to wrap up the video here. I know you guys are like, bruh, why are you wrapping up the video? Well, I'm, hold on. Let me just check what he, was, what he had. Did he have Celesteela? He didn't. Did he have any Max Elixirs? He didn't. He had four Guzmas and an Ace Roller. So I'm glad we didn't see those. I'm glad I didn't see the Ace Roller. So yeah, thanks for watching this part. I am going to wrap up the video, unfortunately, with no pack opening. I don't think I have a chest. Um, but I am going to wrap up the video with a game I got a couple of days ago with this deck. Um, it's a decent match. Um, the only issue is, is I had a bit of lag, but I want to include that game because I want to, I got some other things I need to attend to right now. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on the video. If, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to help me on the road to 3000 subs. We just hit 2200 and before I drop to 2199 after this, but thanks for watching. Subscribe for more PDCGO content. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Is Water Toolbox still a decent deck in standard? I don't know. We'll see how it does in the future. I highly doubt it'll perform well, but you know, I think it's still a decent rogue. So thanks for watching, and uh, catch you guys in another PC Joe video. Enjoy this last match, even though it's a little complainy, Kappa. Um, not complaining in terms of, like, I was complaining about how the game went. It's just literally, I was complaining about my internet issues, because I was, like, at one point, I was like, am I going to get disconnected? I was winning the match. Like, I'm going to shut up now and just show you guys the match. You, know, you can just click on the video now if you don't want to watch the match. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're up against Chum69, who's potentially playing Sogaleo, or... Metagross. It's one of the two. It's probably Sogaleo, though. If he's playing Sogaleo, Tapu Fini is going to be a really big game changer, because obviously Ice Beam's pretty dead, so Tapu Storm could come in handy. We're going to open up with Kelio and Lapras. I think we're going to open up with Lapras here, just just because just cause we have to have collect. I'm actually going to bench the Kelio, because why not? And we'll see if he's playing Sogaleo. I'm assuming he is. Yep, he is. Oh, maybe, I don't know. Switch and Floatstone could be a Metagross deck, too. Oh, he just concedes. Well, I mean, that was a very uh, entertaining match. Alright, guys, I think that'll wrap today's video. We did show up the deck pretty nicely there, I think. I'm just joking. Hashtag memes. That yeah, was a Metagross deck. Okay. Hmm. Surprised he conceded. Metagross could be tricky to beat only because of the massive HP and the fact you can't one-shot them. We're going to get another game with our deck, obviously. Um, maybe we can find a, wa a fire deck. I don't know. Uh, there's a fire challenge, so who knows. No way. Uh, Ninetale Zork deck. Perfect. No, I'm just kidding. It's not perfect. Nah. This is why I put Professor Kikui in the deck, people. I am a little scared of baby Ninetales, though. That card is a little bit of an annoying thing for us. Only because Keldeo um, sometimes could struggle one-shotting them. We'll see, though. Um, he's actually letting me go first, which is interesting. I'm assuming it's because he's got Beacon, but I don't know. We are gonna mulligan, of course, unfortunately. Now, one thing that's weird with this game, my, my wishy-washy video, I think I mulligan like four or five times, and the game doesn't let you know that you did that. It's really weird. So I don't know if that's a glitch or not, but I don't know. So I'm pointing that out, and I was like, yeah, that is very weird that he had like a huge hand, so who knows. I think I'm gonna open up with Feeny. Bench Keldeo or wait. I think I'm gonna wait a turn just in case. Just in case baby nine tails hits the board, he doesn't want to fill his bench up. Though technically five Pokemon. No, four Pokemon and a funny fairy bell would knock it out, but I still think I'll bait him on it. Looks like we have to end him here because he did draw a few extra cards. Oh, it's Dark Guy. Okay. It's gonna be interesting. Dark Guy I'm actually fine with. I mean, if I maybe he has a handful of energies or something, and he max elixirs would whiff, but I think it's still safe to end him. I'm just gonna attach whatever, sure. Yeah, we'll do this. I kind of want to build up a Lapras, but I'll spread out the energy a little bit too. I don't mind that. Maybe even Lele's not bad because Lele technically can do decent damage to Darkrai with two energies and a choice band. But I don't know. I'm gonna end him. My internet has other plans. If I get disconnected, guys, I'm gonna be very annoyed. Hopefully we don't. Oh, we didn't really. It's not a good hand. And I guess we could put Lapras down. And we can pass for now. We could do Tapu Storm at some point. Maybe try and reset a Darkrai with energy on it so it could slow him down a little bit. I don't know how well that's going to work, though. He could be playing Nihiligo, but what, what's the water type, though? That's weird. I 
the water type is kind of weird. I uh, what water type could he be playing? If he's playing, I mean, he's got to be. Maybe it's a Vulpix, but who knows? Ooh, we whiffed the Max Elixir. That's huge. And a pass. Okay. Another Lele. I think I am do Professor Kikui here. I don't know if I want to give up this hand right now. The there's three cards that I really like. The Field Blower I might need. The Lele I want to keep. I'm, I think I'm going to do this. I know it's a weird play. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Mm, sure. We soften him up. Aqua Ring. Go into Keldeo. I don't mind that. Okay. Th I'll, <clears throat> I'll be right back. I swear, my internet is gonna give me, like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna die of a heart attack from my internet. Like, it's so bad, bro. Like, I got nothing open in my room but my computer. Guys, I apologize for this slow internet. If I get disconnected, dude, I'm gonna be so salty. And you, you think I get salty all the time? No, 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 no. You, you haven't seen me playing this game, you know. You know, you have a nice little PDCGO sesh. You get disconnected. It's some prime entertainment, people. Maybe we can knock him out Kelio this turn. We'd have to find a few cards, though. If he benches Pokemon, maybe. But I am fine with leaving this hand alone. If he ends me, I can keep the Field Blower. He might put in Experience Share down, you know, Choice Band, something like that. Wishful Baton. Lele, I might want to keep. Who knows? I'm, I'm actually fine with leaving this hand alone. Oh, no. I swear, if I get disconnected, bro, I quit this game. Oh, man. I despise my internet so much. Please don't disconnect me. This game's going so well. Please, don't disconnect me, game. Don't do it. Don't do it. <sighs> Man, okay. It looks like I'm fine. It looks like I'm fine, guys. Build up Lapras. Maybe we hit a belt and the Mana Fee. We can knock him out. Yeah, it's fine. I was hoping he would end me there to keep those cards, but it looks like it's not the case. Again, guys, I apologize for the internet and the salt, but it just drives me crazy. Because there are days where I can't even play this game because my internet's just not playing around. And yeah, see, like, this is just lovely. I, lo I love my internet so much. Now, we unfortunately whiffed not only an energy and a mana fee. That's actually kind of surprising. Balo gets me nothing. Maybe it's... I think this is just a glitch. I don't actually think I'm lagging. <sighs> Alright, well, I'm actually going to... Spread out the energy a little bit. Knocks me out, maybe I end him to five. He hasn't played any supporters though, but I don't really want to get rid of these Guzmans. I think I'm still going to build up Lapras though on the active. <sighs> Man, my internet, dude. I, oh my god. No, don't do this to me today, game. Gosh. <sighs> Man, I got I'm sorry for this internet, bro. I I'm so sorry for how garbage it is. Alright, well We'll do bailout for nothing. I don't know. Okay, please go away. Get get off my screen. Alright. Now, what I might do next turn, he knocks me out. I might just bring out Feeny and then Guzma, this Darkrai, knock it out. And then, because this Darkrai is already damaged. There's really no point of voting damage to it. So, I don't mind that. Because I don't waste the Guzma either. Hopefully, that's the last of my internet issues. Man, I need to get new internet, guys. I apologize. I don't know, like, in the, in the past couple of months, my internet has been just so garbage. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Okay, there's a water. Might as well put that on Lapra. Guzma the Darkrai. And we'll hit it with Lapra. So you can see the strength. We got a lot of energy spread out across the board, which is pretty nice. <sighs> Man, dude. Like, sorry about the, the, the sign, but, like, it, I'm just so stressed out. If I get disconnected, dude, I'm going to be so cheesed because I got a win streak. 
if I win this game, you know, the game's going so well anyways, right? So, I, like, this is why I'm still stressed out. Like, I just don't want to lose this game. Plus, it's a waste of time when I'm recording a video, right? You know, I'm recording, you know, I'm playing the game, you know, talking, right? And then it disconnects me, and I just wasted, like, potentially eight, nine minutes of my time, and I gotta redo it. It's just not fun, and this is why I get so stressed out when my internet thing pops up. It's gotten to the point where I can't even play, like, Overwatch, because it's, like, my internet, like, the lag is just so bad. So, we're gonna get hit, and what we are gonna do here is... So just go into Lapras. I'm fine with doing Sycamore. We're losing a few cards, but you know, it's cool. I could even Guzma and knock out this Lee Veltal. But you know, we're going to do Sycamore. Lee Veltal doesn't scare me. Alright, we do find our Mana Fee, and I was hoping we would. Because I actually didn't really want to retreat. Well, it's not bad because we can double Aqua Patch, but... You get my point. Now, he does play a water type in his deck, so, I mean, by doing this, maybe we get to see what water type he's playing, so I don't know. Do I Aqua Patch now? Yeah, sure. We'll put it on Feeny, I guess. Why not? I, I was tempted to bench the, the Keldeo, but I might need that for, like, a Rangaroo or another Kel or another Lapras. So, we are going to knock out this Darkrai. At this point, my opponent might be, you know, kind of low on what he can do. He's got not much energy built up, so we're not really in any issues right now. And maybe next turn we win the game. If he benches another Darkrai, we do have game with Ultra Ball for Lele. Assuming our third Guzma's not on the prizes, which I, I, I don't think it is. Maybe. Might be. If it is, you know, rip, but we'll see. But we do have game next turn if he benches the Nyx. Now, I saw he had a Water type in his deck. Could be Octillery, actually, I guess. Yeah, I mean, playing Octillery. Let's see, does he have a way to not lose? And it looks like it is indeed game. Alright, well you can see the power of Water Box. You when you play against these decks with like lower HP Pokemon like Darkrai, you know, the strength of this deck does, you know, pop out. Yeah, it looks like our Guzma's next. So we would have had game pretty much that game, unless he ended me, of course, to two. It's not bad. You know, a bit of bit of salt because my internet, you know, wasn't really being too good there. But uh, we we were able we were able to come out on top. We were able to beat my opponent 